Welcome guys to the Maweje family. It's your boy Rogers taking you through this journey as you saw already on our title. Uh, we are visiting uh, our mother that is precious mother-in-law and trust me we are going to take you through this journey. It is around it's a uh, four hours drive four to five hours drive that's almost 140 to 50 kilometers i uh, will be reaching there we wanted to take you through this interesting journey to show you everything on the road and how uganda is trust me uganda is so interesting kampala is so interesting now we are still in kampala we have started moving and you can see a lot of cars a lot of jam now we are in jam that is a tax park we call it a tax park in other countries that have visited they call it a taxi rank where people come and they board as a public transport uh for us now we have already started our journey guys that's uh uh, we that's the team we are going with you can see your girl precious <laughs> on a camera the other one is my elder sister and uh, in the middle is her daughter we will be taking her back to school and the other one is also uh, a daughter of another one so it's an interesting journey as you can see uganda is so beautiful people are building every single day those are wonderful building that is a place called chengera it's on Masaka Road. If you're in Kampala, if you're in Uganda, you understand that road. If you want to visit Uganda, that road, you see it. That's one of the most beautiful buildings, you know. Uganda is so beautiful. And as you can see, people, people are very busy almost every single day. As we are going to be moving, you're going to see the road. That's your beautiful, precious. <laughs> your girl precious you can see glowing glowing <laughs> so we we were enjoying the journey really so look at this uganda we are already on our way but people are selling even where they are know that much customers for them they are selling because any chance you get in uganda any space you get in uganda you you try it so well such that you can make money that is street they are, they are selling and they are you know flying mandas and so on so it's it's a lot it's a lot here in uganda all of that uh you know it's business uganda is so competitive that you know as, as i told you this is almost a four hours journey four to five hours journey but you're going to uh to to identify this thing that it's a journey i've been in different countries where you travel such a journey and you pass you pass by bushes you know where you don't see any people but in uganda it's very different everywhere there are people and the people are doing something people are doing business people are doing something you see that it's a busy country wherever uganda is a small country as you you know but it's full of people meaning almost everywhere there are people everywhere there are people and one of the interesting businesses here in uganda you know you involve yourself in selling land and buying is also an interesting business because the population is growing almost every single day 45 plus people now i'm sure we are in 50 million people as a population in a, such a small country so that's why it is so competitive that's why people are you know Every, every opportunity they get, they want to utilize it to make something, to make money. That Uganda has trained us to be hard workers, I tell you. We work so hard. Because if you don't work hard in Uganda, you are not going to survive. You are not going to survive. So all the people that we are showing you on the road, they are busy doing things. They are busy in business. Those are all businesses for people and they are busy. It's interesting. So this journey was interesting. We really enjoyed it because we had a company of kids who were giving us some stories. And as it is getting late, you know, I arrived at home a bit late. So Uganda is still business. And the other po point that you need to, no to notice about Uganda, that business starts even in the evening. You see, it is becoming Yes, as you notice, even feeding station in Uganda, 
you can't get out of fuel and you are stuck that on the way you can count filling stations you see that we are passing almost every five minutes you are going to find a filling station so you can fuel your car anywhere on this road you're going to see a feeding station here, a feeding station there, business here, business there. That is Uganda for you. I'm telling you, God gave us this country with the two hands and the two legs. So he made it so interesting that Boda Bodas, Boda Bodas is one of the, 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 the quickest means of transportation here in Uganda. Anyone, whether it's a minister, whether it's a what, you can board a Boda Boda. Uh, schools are uh, everywhere in Uganda. So people are entering every business. Imagine this is just alongside the road. That is Masaka Road. But look at how many businesses that you have seen. You see, it's, it's, it's so interesting. People are selling everything <laughs> that can bring in money. Everything that can bring in money because it's too competitive. You can't think of starting something in Uganda that in the next neighborhood they don't have. Everything people have and they have started it before. So we are already on our way. I do believe you are enjoying this journey with us. And it's so interesting. You can see how Uganda is. You can see every beauty of Uganda. So you can see how people are really interesting and how the businesses are this is matoke so if you are not familiar with matoke those bunches you see there they are matoke this seems to be like a local market uh, where people sell everything so we told you that uganda has fresh things uganda we, we are not used so much to supermarkets we buy most of our things in markets those are local markets so that is a stage for border. If you want to border, 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 and you go wherever you want, that was a stage for border, border. And, you know, uh -huh, as I told you, feeding station, you see that feeding station, you are going to see the opposite. There is another feeding station. So it's competi competition everywhere. So as we go, you're going to see another feeding station. You find that every second every minute there is a feeding station and that is just one of the businesses what about other businesses so it's interesting as it is getting late as i told you business is getting busier busy and busy and busy so we are enjoying ourselves on this journey we thought that we enjoy this this journey with you uh this is the road to massacre it is getting late but guess what business has already started it has already started this is share we have passed another feeding station neighborhood there is a tosha and you're going to see another feeding station so as i told you it's interesting in uganda i do believe if you are watching from another country this is really new to you these businesses if you see this is another feeding station starbucks you can be surprised that you're going to see another feeding station. Uh -huh, this is another feeding station. <laughs> Interesting. And they are selling different prices. So you go to which one you like. Or which one is, you know, having the better fuel than the other. For us, we take most of our fuel from Shell or Total. But mostly the Shell. Other feeding stations, you know, people like differently they go to uh, different feeding stations but in uganda you have a lot of choices a lot of options that's why our quality of things has been improved almost every single day in uganda so we feed on quality things because of the competition people are in business everywhere uganda is a business country jobs are there of course people who are working are also working uh, but People who start their own things just for survival, there are so many. There are so many people who start their businesses for survival. So we are on our way, we are on a road, people are selling. Ah, wow, this is interesting. So the other thing I wanted to show you, that even as we have moved on such a journey, you can see that still jam is there, we are moving on a slow pace. That, that simply means cars are not moving. It's a what? 
it's a slow it's, 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 they are congestion um, ahead of us so and we have moved the distance already in other countries it's already highway and cars are cruising like no money's business here we are still moving slowly even when we have traveled so much that is interesting that's how interesting uganda is yes for those of you who don't know equator here is the equator we didn't um we didn't stop but at least you can see here equator is there so uh if you don't know what equator is i'm sure you studied before in social studies or english or mathematics i don't know but that is the equator in uganda we don't experience cold so much cold weathers or hot weathers because of that thing you have seen equator it helps us to have moderate weather that we don't experience such things that I've experienced in different countries. In fact, I hate coldness and hotness. I don't know if you hate those things. Go into the comment section below and tell me if in your country you experience them and you hate them. Let me know. Let me know. So here is a now Masaka. Masaka is the now the city. After Kampala is one of the biggest cities. As you can see, it's the evening. We reached Masaka evening. But business is live. Everything is live. You can really see that business is taking place. As I've been continuing to tell you and emphasize it, that this, this city, this country is full of people who are live. Now, the next day, we are live late, of course, at home. But the next day, guess what? Your boy Rogers and your girl Precious, our hearts were on jackfruit. We went right away to a jackfruit tree. I do believe most West African countries, I don't know West Africa, or Central African countries, they even don't know what I'm talking about. Jackfruit is one of the most sweetest, interesting fruits that you can ever eat. I'm going to show you how it is. There are people who know what I'm talking about. Yes, we ate it. I love so much jackfruit. Even when I'm in Kampala, I buy it. But in village, I don't need to buy jackfruit. Mama has a lot of it. And that is now all the plantation for Mama. She's a big farmer. She plants almost everything. She plants coffee. In fact, that's one of her biggest source of income. Uh, that is coffee. So she's rich because she has coffee. So that's where now these uh, uh, daughters and children, they were... Uh, they were climbing this tree to get us some jackfruit. Uh, we can't wait to eat the jackfruit. We just arrived, but imagine the hearts where they are. <laughs> the hearts are in what? In jackfruit. That is the jackfruit. If you are familiar of jackfruit, put it in the comment section. If you are familiar, you know what I'm talking about. And if you have eaten jackfruit before, tell us your experience about jackfruit. Tell us. So... That is a jackfruit tree. You see, it has a lot of fruits and we are going to enjoy. Let us enjoy because now this is where we have gotten our jackfruit is there. The matoke bunch is there. You see, Mama already cut. We are going to eat matoke today. So Mama was already excited to receive us. <laughs> and she is so excited. The children now are enjoying jackfruit together with us. We are all enjoying the jackfruit. Wanji? Hey, come, can't you? Eh? You should eat your what? Your cassoli. Tiza. Maria. Are you going to eat it? Okay. Are you going to eat it, Maria? You are going to eat it. Mua o merua. Mua o merua fene. Now we really enjoyed it. And the next day we had to take this back to school. It's back to school. We are going to use Mama's car. And we take her back to school. We wanted to show you also that's your girl precious. You know she shakes what Mama gave her. <laughs> you see she shakes. <laughs> what mama gave her so guys let's go together back to school 
we enjoy this journey together uh, as we go in fact we want to show you also our area uh, where we live and um, you know this is where we call home so if you want to visit us at home at our mama's village home that's where we are that's our home that's where i grew up as a person so let us go together and i want to show you how big a uh, farm you see this all these are coffees for mama you see it's coffees for mama she says you know she told us this car now is i'm tired of it i don't i no longer want even to wash it i want to buy another so and she's she's expecting money from that coffee <laughs> so she's a big farmer lady this is our next now town village town we are showing off <laughs> <laughs> you know people from the, the the village they expect that anyone coming from the city is having more money <laughs> so this is a town we are going to first do shopping and then we take her back to school so you're going to see what we shop for back to school with um, you know what she's going to take you know she's in the boarding school so she's going to spend all this time at school so we have to buy for her what she's going to uh, you know it's going to be enough for her so that's her mother that is your girl precious and that is our beautiful mother and for her she's somewhere there she's hiding she doesn't talk so much but she's wise in school so we had to buy almost everything that we needed for her to be at school and she's always smiling you know they say that she resembles me <laughs> so she's a daughter of my sister of course it's the same blood <laughs> so so that is when we have bought everything that we need we have to pack and we go we take her back to school everything that we need we have it uganda is business i will repeat uganda is business you see uh all this shop you know i know in different countries they have shops like this uh but What's so special in Uganda that these shops are everywhere here in Uganda. Even in the least expected area, you find them. Here, they were packing for us, put in the boot already, such that we start off our journey and we go. Of course, there are some things that we did find here that we are going to purchase in this other shop where we have gone. You see, I've told you. So every, everywhere you, f you find a what? You find a shop. Your girl Precious is smiling. She's enjoying, but guess what? She's with mama. There is a language barrier here. <laughs> I left them in the car just, <laughs> just to test what are they going to speak together. Because mama is not in position to speak English. And for her, she's not in position to speak in Uganda. So <laughs> I don't know the word that was there, the word of words, the word of language. <laughs> Here we arrived at her school. Uh, of course, she's going to be transferred to another school. In, in fact, another campus because she's going to P6. Uh, we call it, is it sub sub-candidate? Yeah, she, next year she'll be going to primary seven in Uganda. We study from primary one to primary seven, and then we go to um, uh, O level, that is uh, senior one to senior six. That's when from senior six you go to university. Here we arrived on a new campus to do a registration such that we finish everything the best way. Guys, I do believe that this video, you have gone in uh, this journey together with me and it has been so interesting. We are stopping the video here. If you have loved it, make sure you leave the comment, like, and subscribe. We love you.